The number one Family Feud survey question to me has been, dude, WTF, or as my good buddy put it, Carpy, you weren't even in our death pool. So, what caused this at the age of 46? My wife and I met with my cardiologist yesterday. No family history, minimal risk factors. Father is 77, still walks, and carries his bag for 18 holes. Grandpa's died at 89 and 92, I'd have taken any of those numbers, especially after the last couple weeks. The cardiologist's answer was simple, maybe too simple. He said, there is nothing I could have done. I have a genetic condition called familial hypocholesterolemia. Try to fit that on the back of a jersey. We'll just call it FH. Now, FH is an inherited condition that affects about one in every 500 people. Uh, I've, I've seen some recent studies that say one in 300. Basically, I don't process cholesterol the way most people do. And this results in high bad cholesterol and low good cholesterol. Now, we all create cholesterol. We need it to build new cells. And you don't get cholesterol just from the extra crispy, extra skin, bucket of KFC we all munch on. But when we do get the KFC, and when we do get our own bad cholesterol that we create, which you need some, your liver is supposed to regulate it. I came off the assembly line with the defect is basically it. My internal cholesterol faucet drips 24 seven. Low dose statins, mine was Lipitor 10 and then 20. I've been on since I was 26. They didn't help much, obviously. Now I'm on the highest dose of statin allowed, 80 milligrams, which studies show can be effective against FH. Thank God. Men with FH have heart attacks in their 40s to 50s regularly. 85% have a heart attack by the age of 60. Yikes. That tick, tick, tick I was hearing, it was real. Now, one symptom of FH is a little white deposit or a bump of cholesterol, you ready for this? Over the eyelids of all places. Now, I'll pause here as you sprint to the mirror in the bathroom. Okay, are you back? I hope, I hope you didn't see anything. I had those, but who really notices the skin on your eyelids? other than creepers watching you sleep, like the brother in Wedding Crashers watching Vince Vaughn, it's sexual and it's violent. It was kind of a weird revelation and perplexing. Exercise, good diet, taking statins, no family history, EKGs, blood panels, and all the stuff I had been led to believe would protect me from a heart attack. And I was doing them. They were no match for this particular condition. The lowdown is that it's diagnosed, it's treated with medications, and it will be watched closely. Duh. I'm out of golf for a month or so, and hockey for the rest of the year. And it's a real gulp, maybe forever. A second opinion on hockey may be in order. I am to avoid stressful Situations for a month or more. That's a good one. I guess I'll be in a dark closet listening to Bobby McFerrin and Pharrell clapping along like the room without a roof. Avoid stressful situations. So, thanks again for all your thoughts and prayers. And that's the 411, 10 days after my heart attack.